Introducing Xenoplex. Xenoplex is an idea to experimentally explore the mechanisms driving life. It imagines the modeling of open-ended evolution by simulating the conditions from prebiotic earth and speculative astrobiology in a coupled chemical computational array. In the hypothetical experiment of Xenoplex, biotic agents adapt to abiotic selective pressures and vice versa, sensing, transduction, integration, disintegration. And in this regard, it implies and replays the history of Earth. Biospheres create technospheres that create biospheres. Simulating evolution and adaptation over multiple generations is done in silico by simulating the complex interactions of multiple agents at once. The computational compression of evolutionary dynamics allows for experiments that could not be run in the real world for temporal constraints because what simulations do, in essence, is compress time. So in asking where to locate AI in the long, slow emergence of intelligence as a planetary phenomenon, it poses the question in relation to the kind of matter that we identify as life, or at least as alive. Computation has, for sure, decisively shifted theories of life and philosophy of biology, less to the conclusion that living things are computers, but rather that life is less a kind of matter than a process by which matter autopoetically and phylogenetically replicates. That process has qualities that appear computational and which certainly are technological at a fundamental level. Life depends upon transforming its niche in order to survive. Biotic matter makes liberal use of abiotic matter to replicate. Life is fundamentally technological. Zooming yet further out from biology to astrobiology, this fact complicates the uncertainty of how it's possible to recognize life, quote unquote. What are the necessary and sufficient conditions for its emergence? Can these be artificialized? How does their artificialization enable astrobiological inquiry of which our own existence is by definition an example? What if the whole experiment is alive? What if the whole experiment is alive? <laughs>